Hello everyone, thanks for joining my channel Cloud and Coffee with Amrit. In this video, we are going to learn how you can able to bring your existing Redshift uh, table and uh, uh, publish to, to, to Amazon SageMaker Studio. So in order for me to do that, let me go and create a few tables. So I'm here in my Redshift table and again, I'm here in Redshift uh, in SageMaker Studio itself. But I will show you how you're able to publish your existing existing data in a data source, right? So First, I will be going and creating few tables, and then I will show you how you can able to publish those uh, those uh, those data assets, right? So here I'm in a Redshift. Uh, I will be going into Dev. Um, I will be going and creating few tables, and then once done, I will be going and uh, going and publishing it. So I will be end up uh, creating few tables. So let me sorry. I will be going and. Uh, here uh, I have a command. So where is my command? Went? Yeah, here. So let me go and create this two table. I will be creating this uh, sales history and the product inventory. So let me run a command. This command. So this is this end up creating these two tables. Uh, thereafter, I will be going and uh, and uh, uh, inserting uh, or copying the records in this table. So I will be going and. Uh, bring the data uh, from my s3 and uh, and copying to these two tables so this is done and thereafter i will be let me go and uh, make a query against against this this table okay uh, here is the sales history and select the star from from product inventory this is my product inventory and this is limit, limit 10 similarly this is limit 10 for this one so this way i will be able to showcase yeah so this is the two tables i'm having uh, i run this command uh, this should be fine and uh, wait So here uh, I have these two tables. This is one. This is this is result one. This is result two. Now I will go ahead and uh, let me see this table here, right? So I just now I will be going and publishing this uh, these two tables. So I have this uh, sales history and product inventory. Okay, let's go. Here we will be going into into data source. So I will be going and creating a data source. When I will be creating a data source, I will be providing the, um, let me call it self service, DP for RA3. So this is for my RA3 cluster. I will be going and selecting the Redshift. I will be looking at and trying to find the RA3 here. Uh, once I am having that RA3, I will be providing the schema name so my schema name is public right as i shown you earlier that was the schema name this is a database name this is i'm looking to bring all the tables just keep in mind right now ratio do not support to bring uh, right search me the studio do not support supposed to bring you bring your uh, bootstrap uh, tables or the tables which you have created as a part of sample db so if you have a sample DP tables uh, data that will not work you only able to bring the uh, only only table you will to bring is which is which is user created table right i'm not looking to publish it i'm not also looking to generate the um, business name for for this one so i can do that later i will go ahead and and go ahead and execute it so one thing uh, which is which is super super critical to understand when you will be working with an RA3 is uh, you should be adding a tag um, and then only it will to work because I have spent like you know I don't know how many hours and then I learn uh, in a hard way I should be adding the tag that will allow me to bring the data from uh, from um, from Redshift. So let me show you what tag you need to do that. So you will be going into your Amazon Redshift cluster. Um, and you will be having going to your uh, RA3 and if you go into the properties here within the property at the end there is uh, something called tags you need to go and add the tag so in order for you to do that you have to add this this tag uh, for use with all Amazon project and then true I will do that as well let me do that uh, for for a DC2 cluster as well and see 
if I'm able to bring the DC2 cluster as well. I'm not able to share the data from DC2 cluster that I know because uh, it do not has a has a um, uh, you know shared storage. So, but uh, one thing, let me see if I'm able to kind of you know publish the data at least. So once done, I will be going in and uh, let me go ahead and run this. First, we'll run, uh, running for RA3, then later we can try to run it for for a DC2 as well. And uh, I will also show you how you can able to go and create your connections as well. So you must have seen like when I was going and uh, running this one, it, it was showcasing that that connection. So I will I will see if uh, if we able to uh, show you. So see here, perfect. So I able to bring all the all the tables uh, here. Um, this is successfully created. This is successfully created. Uh, I, all this all these tables are are there but these are the as i said like these are your uh, bootstrap tables you can able to list it here but you're not able to go and uh, and publish i mean so it's, it will be not available for for others to query as a subscriber right so um cool uh, so we have a uh, we have this table brought in let me quickly show you the, how we able to bring the dc2 tables as well let me go and create the dc2 not okay mm. if i if i have a dc2 here within the dc2 i will be providing the public and i will go ahead and next no we're not looking to automatically generate the name business name and uh, here next 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 and create once done creating i will go ahead and run it meanwhile let me show you how you can able to create that connection right the connection which you able to which you are seeing here uh, when i will be going so you will be going into your compute when you will be going to into into your compute you will be going into your data warehouse here you will be going and adding the compute uh, from your existing resources go next and then you will be able to see that amazon is a pervasive cluster and then you will be providing uh, what all what all data uh, what all uh, clusters you have you able to list it here you just and then you will be providing a username password or you will be using the secret manager you will be uh, providing that secret manager here and then once done that's it you will be going and adding as a compute that's it that's only only that's the easiest way for you to go and add as a compute okay uh, now we'll go back here and uh, go back to the dc2 let's see uh, let me go and run it cool so okay and these are all all these are um, hmm, what do we call it um, all these are uh, um, system or bootstrap tables right which i have created when i was creating that uh, you know creating the now you're able to see we have brought this data in so we are having this two data source let's go and uh, perform some query against this data set i will be going and uh, query with the rest shift and uh, i will be able to go and see the data i will be able i will also be able to showcase how you're able to publish the data so that can able to subscribe it but this video now you have learned how you can able to bring your shift uh, data for how you can able to bring your existing shift uh, asset uh, reshift uh, tables uh, for it to publish it hope this video hope you like the video if yes please do uh, like subscribe and share with your friends thank you